Hey everyone, John Inner here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a short wave pattern here on gold. Uh, let me get my orders in place here. Now, because the first target is going to be kind of an issue, if you will, but we do have this dash line in the way. There's a couple other things of resistance or support rather in the way, so I'm not going to be looking for a, rel a you know a larger runner target. I'm going to be taking three off at that first target down here at 12, 12.5, then looking for the final target back down uh, through the low of day to the extension at 1210.6. Uh, so the way that it's setting up here, gold caught a nice little reversal off of the highs here. And you can see back here, they had this really nice push up and then they just went nowhere. You know, they had a really, really hard time getting anywhere and then just started failing right back down again. Now this initial move right here, if you were a little more aggressive, you probably could have taken that wave pattern. Um, it just didn't quite fit the criteria I was looking for for me to take it. Um, so I, I decided to stay out. But this next push lower here, uh, is looking really, really strong. Um, now, again, the only issue that we're going to run into is this little dotted line in the way. Uh, so because of that, we are taking more profit off at that first target. Uh, backing up a second, that first target is lower at 13 ticks. Uh, so taking three off at 13 will give us 39 ticks on the trade. If we can push down through those lows and get that next target down there, it'll be 12, 10.6. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a little bit of time. We're moving a little bit slow right now. We do have big news coming out at 10 o'clock, the ISM numbers. They may be waiting for those numbers to come out. Not really sure. Um, you know, so we'll just kind of sit on hands, wait for this price to move, and uh, see if we can get that target back at 12, 12.5, and hopefully a little more follow through through the low a day down to 12, 10.6. So we'll be back in a little bit. I didn't even measure that one up. If we get down there, it'll be 32. Uh, so looking for that first target, 39 ticks off, 12, 12.5. All right, pushing down into, oh, there we go, got that target filled, wonderful. So uh, we got that target filled. We're coming into this level here, 12, 12.3, and because of that, I'm going to lock my stop into break even plus one. Uh, you know, I, I know that if we do break through, we've got more than enough room to get down to 12, 10.6, but this area has acted as support strongly once before, and I've got to imagine it's going to do it again. So uh, looking to lock my stop in where I can, you can see it's already bouncing off there. Uh, but we got that first target off. Uh, hopefully we'll see this turn around a little bit and push right back through those lows again, uh, lock in that last 32, but got to be safe. You know, you don't want to try to force the market through these levels. Uh, they just, they hold way too frequently. You can go back through time and look at all of those levels several times and they just bounce constantly there. You know, earlier this morning, it was bouncing there, bounce there. When it finally breaks through, then you get a nice move. Uh, and the problem is we haven't broken through this level yet. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, so stop is at break even plus one, just so we don't get locked out of a, uh, you know, a profitable trade. But if we can get that move lower, we'll be looking at 32. Otherwise, we'll be looking at one. Uh, so obviously, 32 is a little bit nicer than one. Uh, but you can see them bouncing off that level. And that was kind of the concern. So we'll be back in a little bit. Hopefully, they won't stop us out. Otherwise, we'll be looking for a pushback through the lows at 1210.6. All right, we're coming back one tick away from our stop again. Uh, this is the second time it's done that now. It, it pulled back at uh, at 9.30 and came one tick away from our stop and turned right back around to the lows. Uh, and it hit that level again. It bounced right off it at 12, 12.3, and then bounced right back up, and it stopped us out. So uh, it took one tick on that final move, so that gives us 40 ticks on the trade. Not too bad, you know, about 10 ticks per contract traded at four. Um, but, you know, it, it's not the runner that we were looking for. But, again, we got into this trade understanding the fact that we we kind of knew that may happen uh, and you have to trade accordingly based on what you know may happen like that uh, so it's good that we took an extra target off at that low otherwise we would have been taking a, a little bit less money out of the trade on that one so it was a good call uh, but that's going to be the trade for today 40 ticks on the trade if you have any questions about it feel free to send an email to school of trade don't forget to check out our trial at school of trade.com and as always we'll catch you next time